Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Coach Victor again. Um, today we want to do something a bit different. We we are going to try to do an exercise that you can do on yourself on your own. Um, normally, uh, you always require to do any any other drill with a partner, um, which is, is that's that's fine. But sometimes when you have time to spare, it's a good time to go and work on surf. So today we're going to be doing some surf exercise like I do on your own, just with a few balls and get going. So first, we're going to do a progression. Uh, our main goal today is to understand the pronation on your surf. Okay, pronation meaning many, many, many times um, when you're a little kid, they try to teach you to go around the ball, right? Like going like that and trying to create slices and stuff. So as you progress in a more competitive level, you start notice on the slow motion on every professional player how they pronate, despite the pronation happening here. They pronate, despite what kind of effect they put. They can go kick and pronate, they can go flat and pronate, they can go slice and pronate. So that's exactly what we're gonna start doing. Our first exercise is gonna be holding the racket right here. You see you can be on the service line so it's, it's a little easier to understand. Hold the racket from the heart and you just try to get over the ball. See, my grip went over like this and then you start actually noticing if you're pronating properly as I supposed to do this, you're gonna see when you give it to little kids, they're gonna hit themselves on the forearm right here when they don't pronate. So if I like to do pronations exercises like this and get a few work going, right? After that, you can go back. Step two will be to get down to the regular grip, okay? And try to replicate that motion, okay? Um, to make it fun, you can also say, hey, just slap it try to get that pronation going, right? That will be step two. Very simple, okay? We're gonna go back now here. It's one of my favorite to understand pronation because then the reality of going over the net, it happens. So we're gonna sit down on the floor. You wanna have your hips line up towards your target. So you don't wanna be like this either like that, you want to just, like you were about to surf, your hip line up, you're going to keep your legs straight, you can cross them, depending on flexibility, whatever you feel more comfortable. You got your back here, and all you try to do is to get it over the net. So, you can try here. The idea is you can go over the net. As you get more comfortable, you can put some really more pop, just go. So the next step, the final step before you actually go to the regular range of motion, is going to be being in position here, get your feet very close and tight and do not move them, okay? So you, again, you, you can do the full range of motion or more aggravated, whatever you like, and you just go and try not to fall down, okay? Um, hold it and you continue working on that formation, okay? Finally. You get all those four steps, you can do as many as you want until you feel comfortable getting that pronation. So finally, you can do the whole motion and always trying to get that pronation up here. You notice how much more pop, how much more speed you can get into the surf just by understanding the pronation importance. There you go guys, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you have any more requests like we did with the forehand slice, please don't hesitate to ask us. Follow us on Jamalba YouTube channel and jamalbaelite.com for our academy drills.